is to bend the little face over like it is right here. Now, I just wanna show you, just so you can see that there are options. Um, when I did this one the other day, I used foam glue to try and help it. It's a hot glue, but it's designed for foam so it doesn't melt it like regular foam does. But it did, and I don't know if you can see it, it did still kind of melt it. So it's up to you. I think that glue will help hold it really well, um, but, but it, does, it doesn't look as pretty. So I'll leave that up to you as to if you want to use the foam glue or not. To create the head of the horse, um, you really just want to take about the top foot or so and just bend it down. And that is what becomes the base of the horse, so or the head of the horse, however you want to look at it. So then I've got some ribbon here and some scissors. Now I am going to put a little bit of glue right down here at the nose. Now this is, this is foam hot glue, it's not regular hot glue. So I'm just gonna put a good gob there and bring it together and just kind of hold it for a minute. And I should have cut my ribbon before I did that because now I have to try and hold it and cut my ribbon at the same time. So I just got a big old long piece of ribbon here. Um, really doesn't matter how long, we're gonna trim it so it doesn't matter. And then this is going to become the bridle of the horse, of the hobby horse, but it's also really what holds the nose down and in place. So this is really kind of the trickiest part of it all and this is really where you want three or four hands, but we are going to make it work. So I've got my ribbon and I'm holding it down. I'm gonna flip it over. And then I'm going to tie a knot on the back side. Now this bridle or bow or whatever you wanna call it, isn't that what that little thing is called on a horse is a bridle? Now I'm thinking of weddings, so I don't know if that's right. Um, this is really more for looks. It won't work great if the kids like want to hold on to the horse with it. It might come undone. Um, but then you could always just tie extra knots. So then we're just going to tie a bow. Now I am horrible at bows. I hate tying bows because my bows never look nice. Ever. Never. Never, and as I say that, this bow looks actually pretty nice. <laughs> so I'm just gonna tie that as tight as I can. And in fact, I'm gonna do a double knot, just so I'm gonna be giving these to my niece, and I really don't want them to, to come off. So I'll just tie that in a double knot just to make sure that that's good and tight. So now there is the, um, the head, the nose, the face, whatever you want to call it, of our horse, of our hobby horse. And then I'm just going to trim off and cut the ribbon so it looks nice. Here is the head of our horse. It's got this cute little bow. Now the next part of the hobby horse is really my favorite part, and that is the hair. And what I've used for the hair is this really fun curly ribbon. Isn't that cute? And it just kind of bounces as the kid will bounce and ride their little hobby horse. So again, these bows I got at my dollar store. The bow has a staple right there in the center. And that is pretty much where I want to create a fold with the tag. So I'm gonna fold it in half and then trim off some of that extra. What I'm gonna do is just create a little, two little slits um, 
one like right at the top of the head and the other one down a little bit and I'm going to then glue these in for the hair. And right at the top of the head, I'm just going to cut a slit right into that foam pool noodle. And I need it to go kind of deep just because I need that whole tag to be able to fit into it, but it's it'll be fine. So I've got my slit, and again, I've got my hot glue gun. And now remember, this is for foam. It's a foam hot glue gun. I'm just gonna put a pretty healthy bead of glue um, right there along that fold. And then that is what I'm going to shove into that little slit. And you have to do it kind of quickly because hot glue doesn't stay hot for very long. And just kind of push it in side. And there is our first little piece of crazy hair for our horsey. Isn't that already just so cute? Oh, I love these. I can't get over how cute they are. So a horsey doesn't just have hair on the top of his head. He's also got hair further down. So we're going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to use my template here from my other horse. And I'm just going to make the ears just a little bit bigger. But, I mean, it's really not that... This is a pretty simple thing. So that's my ear. Let's cut out the big one first. So there's our first ear. Just kind of even it up. And I've got some green felt to match our green horse. That's going to be the outside of his ear. And just gonna fold that in half so I only have to cut once. Again, keeping this really, really, really simple. I'm just gonna cut around that. Okay, so there's my ears. Ta-da! Now I'm gonna cut out the inside part. And I'm gonna do the same thing, but with the pink. Okay, so there are our ear pieces. And we're just gonna take some glue. And put those in the center of each ear. Just like that. And then to give our ears a little bit of shape, I'm going to pretty much just fold them in half, right like that. So then there is our horse ear. So now what we want to do is put those ears pretty much just right at the top of the head um, and facing out. So now that they are together, I'm going to put another good bead of glue right there, right down the center, and facing out. I'm going to grab my little horsey and just kind of put his ear there, and then I have to hold that for a second. My niece is super duper excited about these. I showed her one the other night. I showed her the orange one when we went to dinner the other night. I was like, I'm sorry, honey, you can't have it yet. I still have to do my live. But she was super excited about them. See, look at those ears, they're so cute. Now, there's a couple different things that you can do for eyes. You could cut big, beautiful ones out of felt. Um, but I like to do things easy. So, <laughs> my dollar store I got these fun googly eyes and they even have a bunch of different colors you can see in there there's green and pink and yellow and black and red 
and all sorts of fun colors. So then again, I'm gonna take the hot glue and we, we're just gonna glue his eyes on. Now with horses, their eyes usually aren't right at the front of the head. They're really kind of more on the side, but you know, since this totally looks like a real horse, we should totally pay attention to that. <laughs> So what I'm saying is it doesn't matter. You can put the eyes wherever you want. I'm gonna put mine kind of to the side. And I've got my eyeball, or my wiggle eye. Just gonna put a good dab of hot glue and just put it right there on the side. So there's his one eye. But my horse has two eyes, so we're gonna put the other um, eye on. And I should say, since we're kind of putting it on a curved surface, I'm not covering the whole wiggle eye with hot glue. I'm actually only putting it on one side of it. So then it doesn't, if you put it all over, it kind of, since we're working with foam, it almost kind of sinks in and looks a little weird. So I just do it on half. There is our little hobby horse. Isn't he or she adorable? She's so cute. I love her perky little ears. And she is ready for some little girl or boy with a cute little cowboy hat to go riding around town. Super fun, super cute, and all from the dollar store. So this toy, let's see, a dollar for the the pool noodle, dollar for eyes, dollar for hair, and the felt I actually got at Walmart, but it was like 30 cents a sheet. So $4 for this cute little toy. Super, super fun.